What's up guys, Zach Scott here with a brand new unboxing video. Last time you checked in, I unboxed the Nintendo Switch right here. And uh, I thought it was a great video, a great unboxing, <laughs> ultimate performance by me, Zach Scott. Uh, but today, we have something a little bit different. We're going to be unboxing uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch. And uh, I'm going to compare it to some of the previous Zelda games of recent generations. Uh, game, all the way from uh, DS, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, and uh, 3DS. Uh, so I'm going to be comparing those. Uh, I'm not going to dive into the cartridge-based systems of, you know, Nintendo 64, SNES. I have the cartridges, uh, but I don't have, like, the original packaging. Back then when they used cardboard, I was an idiot, and I threw it away. <laughs> so, but I've, you know, since they started including nice cases... I've kept them. Uh, so uh, we're going to go ahead and showcase that. Before we kick it off, I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Um, thanks for all the support that you've shown me on this channel. I got to um, I got to go visit uh, the Nintendo Switch event in New York City. I got to interview Mr. Miyamoto and Mr. Ayonuma. Uh, Nintendo provided me with that great opportunity, and they've also provided me with this copy of the game. I feel like I should mention that. I already have this pre-ordered uh, at Best Buy, though, and I will be... Uh, I, I'm also going to be somehow getting... I'll, I'll figure out how. I'm going to get the freaking awesome collector's edition, like the master set or whatever. Might have to eBay it, but I'm going to get that on my own. So... Regardless of the fact Nintendo sent this to me, uh, I, I'm i going to buy it. I'm going to probably buy it again. <laughs> this might be maybe twice. I don't know. Uh, so, because, uh, you know, I'm going to... Ashley's going to be playing too. I'm going to have it set up uh, in the living room. I'm going to have one in here, one in the living room. Anyway, uh, Nintendo Switch, uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this first. Uh, I, I, you know, uh, it's, it's, I mean, I hate to break the seal. <laughs> like, originally my plan was just to just, this is kind of dumb, but my original plan was just to download it onto the Switch and then just keep this in mint condition. But I got to do an unboxing video, so maybe my Best Buy copy will be the one that's in mint condition. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, to open it, all you got to do is, you know, get this plastic off. Um, so then, then I'll do close-ups of it. Um, I don't have any of the Amiibos yet. Uh, I will I will be getting the Amiibos and unboxing those as well. Uh, in between now and then, I have about a week, I might unbox some old Amiibos that I have that I have yet to unbox. I know I did like a couple of videos where I unboxed Amiibos, uh, but I never got around to uh, really, really showcasing uh, them past Wave 2. And so I have a lot in like my guest room and my storage room still in the box. I should just unbox those and do videos of them. Um, and right now, man, I don't know. I might need like a knife or something. I don't have like one like super close to me though. I'd have to go walk into the kitchen. I'm trying to like use my my fingers just to kind of uh, you know slip open the the package. Here, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab uh, I'm gonna grab my keys. There we go. Keys. Everyone has keys, right? Uh, I should have a knife on me at all times. <laughs> I shouldn't. Why would I do that? Okay, so here we go. We're taking the plastic off. Um, you know, I don't know what to say. This is not like a review of the game or anything. This is just like me unboxing the game. Uh, I will be playing this on, on my channel in full uh, starting, I believe, next Thursday, the 2nd. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Uh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Plastic's off. And uh, I feel a little depressed. <laughs> not really. Um, so yeah, let's first let's get a close-up of the box art. Uh, this camera has a cool thing where they try to, like, this camera tries to focus, like, in a terrible way. But this is the box art to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Link looks super cool there. Uh, you got the Nintendo Switch logo in the back. Of course, these are, um, this box is thinner than, uh, you know, any of the other, uh, um, any, any of the other, um, games uh, that Nintendo has released for any of the consoles lately. Um, this is the back. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back really quick. Uh, this is cool. This is, uh, this is made in Japan. I have this weird thing for the GameCube games where I like to have the ones that are made in Japan. Uh, you may have maybe seen a video, but th this is the back of it. Uh, the side. I don't know if you guys want to see the side, but here it is if you do. Oh my gosh, camera. See, it's actually, it's having a really hard time focusing on the side. But you guys get the idea. There's the side. It just says The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in red. So it's on your shelf. Um, if you can't tell, you know, compared to the rest that it's a lot, you know, more narrow, less depth than on the other games, you know, it's a Nintendo Switch game because it's red and it has a little Switch logo up here. So open it up right in front of you guys. Boom. <laughs> Just like nothing in here. <laughs> All right. But I knew this. I knew this. I saw some unboxing videos before. Um, you know, I, you, you could probably treat that like a reversible cover if you really want it to. Uh, but this is the, uh, you know, a manual maybe would go here if you really wanted to. This game doesn't have one. 
Um, some sort of paper product would go there. Uh, this is the cartridge right here. Let's get a really good close-up of that cartridge. Uh, just so you can see what we're dealing with. Uh, there it is. You can call that number if you want uh, to request a printed copy of the warranty. So they didn't include the warranty printed here, but I guess you can request one. Um, so yeah, the Nintendo Switch, Breath of the Wild. Boom. Ready to eat for everyone. E10. So take this uh, game out. I mean, here we go. Look at this. Okay, now, I mean... This is actually a really interesting cartridge because it looks a little bit different than some things that I've seen before. I'm going to have a really hard time focusing this. Um, so it, sometimes it helps if I actually put something like this up in front. So the camera, the camera is like really great shots, but look at that. Look at that. That's the cartridge right there. And it's so cool to have a, to bring cartridges back. They just load so much faster. <laughs> and it's true. I, I'm, I'm laughing, but I mean that for real. So, uh, that's an unboxing of the Z Zelda The Breath of the Wild. Uh, Le the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, nice artwork on the inside for sure. Uh, minimal cases, minimal packaging. Um, very bulky packaging for the size, for sure. But, I mean, they sell like SD cards in larger packages than this. Uh, so, one thing I wanted to do is to kind of go through uh, all of the uh, case based generations that Nintendo has released, starting with the GameCube and the DS. Uh, if we take a look, um, like even the Game Boy Advance stuff was in boxes. Uh, so uh, this is a bit of a disappointment right here. I can't find my copy of uh, Spirit Tracks. Um, this was for the DS. I can't find, I have the box all nice. I have like all the manuals, everything like that. The Club Nintendo info. Uh, I just went ahead and put Mario, Super Mario Bros. in it, the new Super Mario Bros. Uh, I can't find it. I looked for it. I, this is on my shelf in like a pristine condition, but I don't know what I did with the cartridge. So, uh, this is, uh, so let's first, when we're thinking about cartridge base, let's look at the cartridge base things. We have, uh, Spirit Tracks, uh, for the DS and we have A Link Between Worlds for the 3DS. Now I actually played this all the way on my channel. Uh, the thing, the thing about it was, is I played a digital copy. Uh, this is a physical copy. I haven't even opened, so we're gonna open this too. So let's actually open this. <laughs> this is uh, easier to open. Um, so yeah, break the seal in this one too. My heart crumbles each and every time. I'm gonna laugh if like, wouldn't that be like, wouldn't that be, man? I should have, I should have thought of this. I should have somehow staged it so that I had somehow the uh, spirit tracks in this box, and that would have been like the most amazing magic trick ever. But no. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's compare this to let's say let's look at the DS first. A lot of people may not remember the DS, but a lot of people the 3DS might be you know forefront on their mind. Um, you know, the, obviously it had a bunch of uh, a bunch of manuals, a bunch of them. manuals, uh, Club Nintendo info to register, uh, you know, warranty info, precautions, all that stuff, uh, and then a little cartridge. And so this was a little. I mean, this this packaging was adequate, uh, you know, and, and purposeful. Uh, you take out the cartridge. This is a little, I mean, even the cartridge of the DS is a little bit bulkier. Uh, a lot bulkier now that I put it in there. Uh, I'm just going to put it up here so you guys can see. Um, this will work, right? Yeah, this will work. Uh, yeah, so compare the sizes right there. Just the DS to the Switch. Uh, I'm now going to open uh, this. I've never even used this. This is uh, a link between worlds for the 3DS. Boom. Uh, similar concept. They, at this point, they started making the packages lighter. You know, they made these squares to, you know, make them weigh less. Uh, that obviously was not much of a concern for the Switch cases, though. Um, but again, in here, you have the same thing. You have, like, a big, like, electronic man. Oh, this is actually, they're talking about an electronic manual here, so that's interesting. Then they have, like, some Club Nintendo stuff in here as well. Um, and then the, the game here. If we take a look at the game cartridge, you know, you guys have probably seen this before. But we actually, I actually have a Zelda game cartridge to compare it to. Uh, so let me go ahead and just, here, let me just move these around. Sorry. <laughs> here we go. Uh, so these are all the, the recent cartridge-based systems that they've had. Uh, and it's fair to compare them to this because the Switch itself is a handheld system also. So uh, this is a good comparison, I believe. Um, you know, the, the Switch, frankly, is thinner. Uh, well, smaller. And is it thinner? That's a good question. It's about the same thickness. So, yeah. Here, just let's put them all like here. I mean, this is not. I'm I'm gonna have a terrible time trying to focus this, but you can kind of look. It, this makes it look like an Oreo in a way. But you can kind of look, right? It's kind of thinner. 
how do I how do I do this? How would I? Yeah, there you go. The the switch the the, uh, the switch is on the bottom, so uh, that's about the same size. Okay, but anyway, you guys get the idea. Um, if if you just compare it to the 3DS cartridge right here, you know, it still fits into here. So this is a lot smaller of a cartridge. Um, you know, thinking about an unboxing video, what am I going to do? I can't play the game yet. Uh, I do have gameplay, though. I did a quick play of this the first, like, 10, 15, 20 minutes. I forget how long it was uh, that I played in New York City. Go check that video out. Also, I got to interview the creators of this game, Mr. Miyamoto, Mr. Ionuma. Go check that out. That is a good video. Uh, I got to wear cat ears <laughs> for that. Thanks to you guys voting on Twitter. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and even just comparing the boxes here, if we take a look at these boxes, you know... Um, and I think these are fair comparisons because these are both cartridge-based systems. You know, we got these are both basically uh, the same size. The 3DS might have been a little thinner, but not not remarkably so. And then um, you know, you got this, which is uh, not only is it thinner, uh, but it is uh, it's more narrow and taller. I would have to do like a measurement to determine the volume. So maybe it's not that much more volume uh, than it may not be much more plastic at all than the others so uh this may not be really i would maybe not consider this a waste of plastic i've seen some articles they're like this is such a waste of plastic it looks like that but i mean you, it's got to sit nicely on your shelf you know they're not just i mean technically I, I mean you know there's there's definitely an aesthetic to this that they're trying to do in marketing and stuff so is it a waste if it looks amazing on your shelf i don't think so so uh those were you know those are all the the, the handheld ones and now we're going to kind of go through um this is Wind Waker on the GameCube. I actually have a pretty decent GameCube collection, uh, a nice one. And, uh, you know, Zelda Zelda and Nintendo stuff has always been very important to me. Um, you know, I camped out for the Wii at Best Buy overnight. It was freezing, and I had, like, a big coat on. I had, like, heating packets, like, and big gloves, and I was just there. I was, like, third or fourth in line. And um, I ended up getting a Wii along with, uh, along with uh, Twilight Princess out of that. And... Uh, and it was, uh, it was such a fun experience. Um, I, I'm stumbling over my words. But what happened a couple days later, or maybe not a couple days, but a couple weeks later or whatever, uh, after Thanksgiving, I had my gallbladder removed. And uh, so I was at home kind of in pain. And I was just, but I was, you know, happy because I was playing Zelda Twilight Princess, right? Twilight Princess is what it's called, right? Yeah, because Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess. I keep thinking I'm messing that up, but no, it was Twilight Princess for the Wii. Anyway, um... Yeah, I, I could. It's right here. <laughs> it's right in front of me. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just like thinking about it in my head. Was that it? And it's like right in front of me, right here. Uh, anyway, this I have a pretty decent GameCube collection. Um, I have them in these nice little plastic wraps. Um, I don't know why. I should probably put all my games in these plastic wraps, but I put all my GameCube ones in there. I, for whatever reason, I started obsessing over my GameCube collection and trying to get like a really. I don't have like a like a large collection but i have a very refined curated collection and so uh we're gonna take this out uh, hopefully i don't mess up anything here um this is zelda wind waker uh it's in great condition and i was as i was talking about like the fact that it was made in japan uh this one was also made in japan if you take a look <laughs> i don't know why but for whatever i got kind of really uh i got weird about it i i wanted them to be made in japan uh and you can tell by the barcodes in zero 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 and so the same thing here with the barcode ending in zero 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 zero, uh, five zeros at the end, and I don't know. If, let's see if I have one that wasn't made in Japan. Uh, this one was made in Japan too. Uh, the the Twilight Prince. I don't know why I cared about this. Uh, this uh, I mean, the game cubes are intentionally like this because I put in a lot of effort to track them down. I might have one here that's not made in Japan. Let's see. Yeah, so here's an example of one made in America. This uh, Wind Waker HD for the Wii U. I stopped. I, I stopped caring about that <laughs> by the time I got to the Wii U. Uh, but um, this one uh, made in America, you can see. Hold on. Come, why won't you focus, camera? What else are you trying to focus on? There we go. 00100 uh, are all made in the USA. So I don't know why I cared about that so much for the GameCube and even the Wii, uh, but I did. And it's still something I check today, and I try not to let it bother me if it's if it's made in the USA. I don't know why that bothers me. But anyway, Wind Waker, you know, of course, was a, the first time they started providing cases. It's a disc-based system. Um, and you got like all this, uh, all these manuals, a ton of stuff. You got a big, thick, bulky manual there, a big disc, of course. Well, not big. Actually, this is small. This is a small disc, <laughs> but, uh, you can kind of see a, a GameCube and it had a space for your memory card. Uh, so because that's how you used to be able to save games. Now, you know, you save games onto the system or the console or an SD card. 
uh, that it, that you insert in. So, you know, if you compare this, uh, it's thinner, it's shorter, and it's uh, and it's even. So when they say waste of plastic, look at this. This how's that a waste? Look at that. It's smaller than the GameCube, smaller than the Wii U, smaller than the Wii. Um, just kind of wanted to show you the iterations that these are going through. For the Wii, uh, you know, the disc got bigger, of course, because you know we're going on. I guess DVDs. I don't quite remember. Uh, you know, but but they had a nice little. Look how thick that manual is. Look at that. It's a thick manual. It's a thick manual, bro. Um, so yeah. And then Wii U, I, you know, sure, we'll open it. I, there's another one I haven't opened. So we'll open this really quick. <laughs> and I lose a little bit of my, not, I guess my cells. I, mean, I don't know. I'm losing, losing my, my cells and my heart <laughs> every time my heart breaks unboxing one of these. But boom, inside, uh, yeah, register this on Club Nintendo if you want. <laughs> Um, uh, but this one uh, didn't have a manual either. So they, at, at some point they started like just kind of putting in promotional materials, ditching manuals altogether. Um, and that point seems to be uh, with maybe late Wii or the Wii U. Um, and because they, because if you look, you know, same size of disc here, but they have, uh, and plus they did the same thing where they tried to like reduce the weight by basically, you know, making, making it not solid all the way through. Uh, so this is for the Wii U and these are blue. And uh, and then the Wii, of course, was white. And the Wii one had, I mean, it was a launch title. Uh, so it has a nice thick manual here. Um, this is before they did any sort of like weight reduction in the actual packaging, solid packaging all the way through. Uh, the GameCube even more so. So at some point they got rid of manuals like either late Wii, early Wii U. Um, but nice, like tons of manuals, tons of promotional stuff. Uh, no, I mean, no real effort in weight reduction as far as I can tell here. Um, but then for the, uh, for the, for, you know, the, uh, the DS, I mean, manual, of course, I want to, I want to check the 3DS again because 3DS, then you have, uh, oh my God, where'd it go? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't want to lose these cards. I've apparently lost, uh, spirit tracks. Uh, but yeah, so no manual here. Just, uh, they talk about a digital manual. And so this might have been like the transitioning period where they're like, hey, you, you can have a manual, but it's got to be digital. But again, they do the weight reduction stuff. Uh, so it's really just interesting to compare all these. I know I'm rambling on now. I've adequately done an unboxing video of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, <laughs> I went above and beyond the Call of Duty. There it is. The game just snaps in here. Uh, no problem. It, has, it does have a place for manuals if you want. Uh, I don't know what this side might just be just a blank spot. Um, I know that the Binding of Isaac version is going to have a manual um, in it, uh, the, the launch version of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. And uh, so it's thinner. Uh, there's no real effort in terms of weight reduction to make it hollow per se, um, but it's thinner. Um, it's smaller. Um, I, you know, I might want to do the measurements just to see in terms of volume, it might be the same or better than, uh, yeah, it might be the same or better than um the 3ds i'll have to do that measurement and calculation but yeah thanks for watching legend of zelda breath of the wild i'll be playing this in full thanks for allowing me to ramble on thank you nintendo for providing this uh go check out my gameplay right now of uh the legend of zelda breath of the wild uh, that i played in new york city check out my interview with mr miyamoto and mr ayanuma about this game and also subscribe if you want to see me play thanks for watching goodbye